And it is the one-year anniversary since the U.S. Supreme Court upheld the Affordable Care Act. Now, one of the requirements of this historic bill, American adults need to get health insurance. For individuals and small businesses, the options and costs will vary greatly depending on your age and where you live. Bertha Coombs has more. I have to make sure that I take time off when I feel a little bit off. David Ferreira is going without health insurance this year after launching a solo consulting practice in Washington. Due to pre-existing conditions, he was denied coverage by all but one plan, which cost $1,500 a month. Starting next year, he can't be denied coverage under the Affordable Care Act, but Ferreira will also have to buy insurance or pay a fine. And because he earns more than $45,000 a year, he won't qualify for tax credits to make it more affordable. Nobody's entirely sure how much it's going to cost, but there's the big benefit that comes with the fact that I'll finally be able to get health care. Ferreira could soon breathe easier. Washington's health exchange just published proposed 2014 rates. Estimates for individuals range from about $170 to $330 a month for a man his age and $300 to $600 a month for those in their 50s. Estimates for small business plans start at about $140 a month for a 20-something worker to nearly $600 a month for a baby boomer. Analysts say exchanges in Washington and the states that are building their own health insurance marketplaces will likely see the widest plan options. But for the self-employed and small businesses here in New Jersey and more than two dozen other states that have opted for federally built exchanges, it could be a different story. The Obama administration still hasn't published rates or plan offerings, and a number of analysts say the options are likely to be limited. The small business exchange isn't going to be able to provide as many options as originally intended. In fact, small business owners are only able to enroll all of their employees into one exchange plan, which is really no different than the status quo. Some may be tempted to renew the plans they already have, but the self-employed and small businesses take a risk by buying insurance off the exchanges. All of the premium assistance, all of the help for paying for health coverage will be in the exchanges. David Ferreira, for one, can't wait for ACA open enrollment to begin October 1st. I love the idea that I will not be able to be denied because I'm plus sized and because I had childhood asthma. In the meantime, he's trying to stay healthy. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bertha Coombs.